Hello readers! Have you ever spent Christmas in Australia? If you have, you'll really enjoy this book because it will be really familiar to you. The kinds of things that happen here at Christmas time, the temperature that it is, the landscapes that we see. So you will really enjoy this book and if you're from another place, you're going to learn a little bit about what Christmas looks like in Australia. I hope you love this book. It is called Angel in a Gum Tree. Angel in a Gum Tree, written by Diana Chase and Valerie Krantz and illustrated by Heather Hummel. On the very first Christmas, 2,000 years ago, in a stable in Bethlehem, the baby Jesus was born. Since that time, each Christmas Eve, a rainbow of angels fills the heavens, singing songs of love and praise. The littlest angel sings the loudest song of all. The other angels have chosen him to carry the joyful message right around the world, even to the very bottom of the earth. Someone has whispered that Christmas in Australia is very different indeed. The littlest angel has to find out how different it really is. He peeps into houses and sees families cooking turkeys, making puddings and wrapping presents. He sees that Christmas brings families and friends together and that neighbours make sure no one is alone at Christmas time. The angel watches children place figures of Mary, Joseph and the baby Jesus in a crib to remember the very first Christmas. The angel smiles to hear the old Christmas stories of how all animals kneel and face Bethlehem at midnight on Christmas Eve, of how a cock crowed the good news to the world and a raven spread the message, of how a wren knitted a warm cover for the holy child of how donkeys and oxen are specially blessed because they shared the first Christmas in the stable in Bethlehem, and of how bees hummed the hundredth psalm, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Once more he hears about the three wise men who gave the very first gifts at Christmas time, of the Mexican boy's gift of simple weeds that changed into beautiful red flowers shaped like the Star of Bethlehem, and how gypsies shared their campfire with the Holy Family as they fled from cruel King Herod, and he reminds the robin of why all robins wear fiery feathers, of how on that night long ago his great-grandfather's grandfather flew between the Holy Family and a roaring fire, catching the burning sparks on his breast. He sat with spiders as they listened to the story of how an ancestor spun a web across the entrance to a cave to hide the holy family from Herod's soldiers. Dancing lights in city streets and decorations in shop windows amaze the littlest angel. He wonders what gifts children will buy for their friends and family.
Do you notice that that child wants to buy the book we're actually reading? The angel thinks the Christmas tree is the most magical, the most sparkling, the most wondrous tree he has ever seen. He watches the postman fill letterboxes with many cards and extraordinary shaped parcels. He sees people open letters from their families in other parts of the world. There is mail from North America where everyone looks forward to a white Christmas. You might be noticing most of the images are showing hot, dry landscape which a lot of Australia is filled with. There is news from Holland where Dutch children fill their clogs with cake and lollies for Santa Claus, hoping he will exchange them for toys. A card from China reads, Holy birthday, old man. From Russia comes a card in the shape of Babushka, an old lady who sheltered the three wise kings on their way to give gifts to the baby Jesus. In a parcel from Italy came a bell for the old lady Bafana to ring before she climbs down the chimneys with presents for children. A letter from Germany tells how, many years ago, a man covered a fir tree with glowing candles to show his little son how the stars looked on Christmas night. The angel follows Father Christmas to tiny outback towns, to lonely islands and to big cities. The angel thinks carols by candlelight is just heavenly. By the time Christmas Day arrives, the littlest angel is quite worn out. He checks his list. Glory, hallelujah, he sings. Christmas in Australia is not so very different after all.
Happy Christmas to you, one and all. So maybe Christmas isn't so different after all. It's just in a different place, with different temperatures, different trees, different landscapes, sometimes different food, but really all the same meaning. Have a lovely Christmas. I'll see you next story. Bye.